extra. The light. Okay. Hi guys. Okay. Hi. So I'm just waiting for a couple of more people to join in, and then I'm going to talk about. I know. <laughs> Hi, Ruchika. How are you? I'm so happy you joined. Hi Arushi. So I'm just waiting for a couple of more people to join and then I'll add a uh, world viral. Hi Harsh. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add So let me introduce them and then I'll call Wait Start up Okay so hi guys, this is Radhika here from Mic Drop Mom. Today I'm having this interesting and informative conversation with a brand called World Viral. Now a lot of you must be asking that, okay, what exactly is World Viral? What is this brand all about? Now this brand is a one-stop solution for any child's future. It is an academic mentor program that gets students into their dream college. It is led by Abhishek and Devanshi Chitlangya who bring educational experience from three different countries and 12 years of combined professional experience. Preparation is the key to success, said Alexander Graham Bell. So all of you who are planning for your colleges or doing your research or have not started with the research and are still thinking, please do start taking notes on this conversation because a lot of doubts, a lot of tips will be discussed here that will be very much helpful for your child's future. So I'm just going to add Abhishek. Hi. Hi. Hi Radhika, how are you? I'm fine. You, How are you? All great. Thank you so much for having me today. Uh, as your page is really I doing did. fantastic work. Uh, it's really excellent. And I think it's a great project that you have started. And I'm I really see. wishing you that it really grows more and more. Right. Absolutely. So, Abhishek, I have a long list of questions that I got from the viewers. So are you ready okay. to answer all of them? Really? Wow. I am ready. So when I spoke so to I'm you, ready because my first thing... Yeah, please go on. No, I said I'm ready because, you know, what the, our whole point is that I want to bring as much resources and as much guidance to students that is possible because it is, they are the future and they need as much mentorship and guidance, which should not be reserved for few. It should be available for all. So that's why we're here. Okay. Because, you know, when I spoke to you first, I realized that the first thing as a parent that I need to do is change my mindset. Because my college preps were completely different than what you are teaching and guiding the kids right now. I mean, with the new generation, the actual relevant experience that you provide, it is, it is the only way to get your dream college, whether it's a college or the career. 
Yeah. So my first question to you is that I my child is in class four. Okay. So you can I start now? Or yeah, I'm absolutely. Ready? More than ready. So, how do you build a successful school career? So, Radhika, that's a great question, and I think that's one of the most pressing questions that most students today have. And what's really, uh, it's confusing to them that what are they doing right now? Is does it make sense? Is the right thing? And how much of an impact will it make for them later on in life? And that is why when we talk about a school career, we talk about looking at it as a three-step process. The first thing we say is that you need to identify who you are as a person. What are your passions, your values, and that kind of defines where you want to go next in life. I'm not saying that you decide on the out outset that you know, oh, I want to be like a investment banker or I want to be like an econom economist. But what I do say is identify which stream you want to go towards. What is your calling? And specifically within that, what elements is it really uh, intrigue you? Does it problem solving? Do you enjoy that? Do you like looking at numbers, or do you like helping people? And then when that comes together, you'll have an idea about who you are, and right. then you start going deep into it. Start looking at to look academics aside. Like you have to do well in exams, that requires you to pay attention in class. But a school career will require you to start looking at a lot of activities beyond the classroom, and to make it successful. Today, that's what the world is requiring. The so second aspect then. Oh, yeah. So the next activity. So, for example, the activities that you want to start looking at uh, are based again based on the career or the values that you have. So, for example, if you're really interested in, say, history, then you maybe will start wanting to join a club which kind of uh, propagates that. Where you may want to, there's uh, maybe the heritage club or a history club in your school. If you're really interested in mathematics, maybe join the math club or you start or you join the science club. And that's just within school itself. And outside school, start taking part in competitions, Olympiads. Think about research papers. Join other organizations. Take workshops. Go deep. It's always better to go deep than go wide. Um, be achieve. Be an achiever over trying to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. And uh, in all of these, right. community service is very critical. People today need to see that compassion coming in from the young generation. It's no longer like the old times, you know, when grades would matter and that's all you needed. And the third part, I would say, is that's now what the new generation is all about. And this is all good. This now this is where hygiene levels come in. Then the next aspect is your X factor, and the X factor starts reflecting from your skill set. You need to be able to present, communicate, work as a team, be a leader. Uh, be a problem solver. Everything you need to have it all, and you need to be able to communicate the same. Now that's what's going to differ. I have to stop you. One minute. One minute. If a child cannot decide what stream that child needs to pick up, then yes. how can you help that child or those parents to push the child in the right direction? Definitely. So now that's okay. Uh, not being able to decide a stream right now in life is totally understandable. You know, you're going through, you're you're evolving as a person as you go along, but that's you are point. able to understand what you like as a person. Do you right. like working with people? Do you like working alone? Do you like uh, working with numbers, or do you like working things which are more theoretical or more right. philosophical? That you know. Do you like uh, working with actual results, or do you like creating things on a canvas? That you don't need to know about your stream, and so these are the skills that you start honing in on. People want to see that you're passionate about something, that you can deliver results. So you can be someone who is a fantastic artist, and you say, "But I love," and then you go and take an investment banking job. The reason they will take you is because you're passionate and can deliver, and that's what that's what people look for today. They, that hard skill, technical skill, can all be taught. It's ten percent your hard skills. As ninety percent of who you are as a person. Okay, so I, I'm actually seeing you know a lot of kids from class six, seven, eight. They start doing the social service and they start uh, going to NGOs and they get those certificates and all. So what is the right? I mean, from which class should they start doing this? So I think as soon as you start is great uh, because it shows that it shows it shows that you're consistent with something that you're genuinely passionate about it. 
Right. So you can start from say six, seven, eight, as long as you can manage the time. But w- w- very clear right. when you mentioned the word certificate, is that look the certificate is not as important because think about it, everyone can, anyone and everyone can get a basic certificate. What's more important mm-hmm. is what are you taking out of that session for yourself or that month, two months, three months. What did you make an impact in somebody else's life, even if it's one person? Do you have a story to take from that? Did it make you evolve and change as a person? That's what's more important than being able to just get right. another certificate because certificates are available a dime a dozen. So, Does do you think a child is six that join World Viral, or do you think it is too early for that child to join your uh, initiative? So there's nothing all too early or too late when you're thinking about self growth and self development. Now, world viral as a what we look as mentors, we see that there are a lot of things we offer. You know, when you look at college and career, that's something which really gets developed deep when you're grades eleven and twelve. But before that, developing your skill set, mm-hmm. developing yourself as a person, identifying the child as a person, is very important. See, right. if you um, those people who may have seen my page would have also noticed that we don't just work on colleges. We are looking at a holistic growth of our individual. Um, right. We had fantastic sessions with uh, Mr. Saloni Priya, well-renowned psycho- child psychologist, with Injuri Thaloti and Ramit Tandon, uh, and sports people, and I mean, the, the leaders in the sports world today. So when you think about, when you look at the entire holistic growth of a person, it should start on as soon as you can. As long as once the child feels he's ready and the parent feels that, yes, my child has matured to a certain degree, that he can now start taking decisions, thinking more about his future. And everyone reaches so that how point at a different point. Point. Okay, so how important do you think sports is from class six onward? Like, do you, do, would you like it to is, push a child to join sports for uh, I would. to get into the dream college? So, yes, sports is actually very important. Now, sports does not have to be 100% for everyone. It again comes to you as a person. But do not make them leave sports thinking that it will not help you later in life. Sports as a department or as a field is, or as a you know, facet of life is so important for a child. They are able to, the first thing that comes out, it shows your passion. It shows your determination and motivation to execute because generally it is very important. And the third thing, it shows that you are uh, leading a very healthy and motivated life. And that's uh, something which today is very valuable because so much more comes out when someone says I'm an athlete than someone says I did well in school. Because I see more about him as a person, as his personality, teamwork, leadership, all come through sports. And leaving right. that for academics, no, you manage both. You have to do. The world is moving ahead. The requirements for each individual today is changing by the month, by the year. It's no longer by the generation. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I, one very important question is like, if a child thinks that, okay, I'm going to go to US mm-hmm. for start for my higher education. But the, by the time the child reaches class 12, Okay, so US is not working for me. I'm going to switch to UK. Has that ever happened? Okay. With, or I'm, I'm going to shift to Singapore. Has, has it's it ever happening happened? all the time. Okay. It's happening all the time. It happened uh, with my sister. So it's something that I'm seeing. Uh, it happened. So it's even what's happened t- uh, 10 years ago, it's happening today. And that's all right because circumstances will keep changing for an individual. But that does Absolutely. not mean that, you know, not doing the prep work right now or not doing the uh, basics because that's going to evolve you for life. It's Correct. not going to, it's not going to be just, it's not, it's not for today. It's going to help you as a person, as an individual and colleges today, uh, even if you look at the national education program that the uh, policy that the government of India announced is all evolving towards looking at a holistic development. So whether it's the U S or Singapore, Growing as a, they all look at how you are as a person and are able to evolve and develop as a person and showcase results. And change, right. and circumstances change, your decisions change, your needs change. US presents certain Absolutely. great opportunities, but so do US, UK, and Singapore. And how that will evolve. Right. 
so uh, you think the preparations between us uk and singapore or in fact india the the process is same or do you think the process is different for each country the approach from class 6 which the child will put in is it different for each country or is it uh, i mean they can decide in class 11 or 12 regarding that so i see the situation is think about it from this perspective that today the requirements to get admitted into a us college the requirements is lot more uh, holistic and stringent well compared to us college is let's say uk or maybe uh, and maybe some of the colleges in singapore whereas something like nus is also very stringent um well some people have more academic focus while some people have more extra curricular focus that's okay but when you start thinking about your future why would you want to ever limit your opportunities why do you want to ever limit your own growth so and how things may evolve in 3 years or 4 years down the line why do you ever want to limit yourself why do you want to say from now that i will not do this explore enjoy develop yourself and only really when you start finally taking the decision no experience is ever going to be a waste of time and yes the us has many more essays and more requirements to submit and yes the work is harder than say going to the uk where it's only right. one application or say singapore when you have again limited less slightly less work but who you are as a person cannot change so right. you, that's when you talk about holistic mentorship and why ever leave yourself that i wasted my time why ever put yourself in a position that i didn't want i didn't do this So, do you have any students, you know, who the who the parents have come in and said, Abhishek, this is my child, and from class six, so you have to this child is under your wings, under world viral, and you have to take care of this child for the next six years. Has it ever happened? No, at the age of class six, it has not happened with me. But Devanshi has. So, because in class six, there is not such a requirement to have consistent twelve month hand holding. Uh, my wife, my lovely wife, and the founder Devanshi has worked extensively with kids in class six, seven, eight, and what we at that level, the the main work that we we talk to people is learning more about the world, getting that right. extra exposure, uh, thinking about the world economy and thinking about how the global forces work and what you should be doing. Now that doesn't require me to handhold you and build a profile through month on month on month. That right. not the right age for doing that but that is also the right age for learning about different things and that's what we have done several several students i'm not sure if maybe they are watching or not watching if they are they could leave give a hands uh, hand shake or hand or something so i'm just want to give a quick brief that what world viral is all about world viral is a one stop solution for any child's future it is a academic mentor program that gets students the green colleges it is run by abhishek and devanshi chitlambia who bring educational experience from three countries and 12 years of combined professional experience so if you have any doubts questions please do message us here on the comment box we would love to answer all your questions so abhishek my next very important question which has been sent by a parent and she said that you know you need to ask abhishek this question is the okay. exam and college prep what best way to manage time so when the child is pressurized with the exam and then you are also pressurizing okay you now you have to do college prep write the essays do this do that now how uh, how will you guide the child to manage time absolutely time management is a key lesson and it's something that really picks up pressure by the time you start looking at class 10 11 and 12 and the way we look at it is a very systematic way and it's something we work with, we really ask people to think about make make yourself a calendar and think about small goals so when you think about a calendar i don't talk about i talk about weekly uh, look, make it like a weekly break up week 1 week 2 week 3 and start listing all the things that you need to be doing and that's where we come in we help you, you know list it down okay this is what you need to achieve and start thinking about the time you need to give for each thing and okay. also remember that the time that you give for each thing will always be different so what your friend say maybe is able to achieve in one hour you may need two or three or four hours be honest with yourself i need to do this i need to do these items this is also the great way of filtering out all those unnecessary activities which you say i'm getting involved in it so i'm my uh, i'm going because my friend is getting involved in it 
So right. then you start to bring all of those out. Absolutely, I'm <laughs> sure you must have had students coming and telling you that okay, I can't do this. You know, मेरे से नहीं हो रहा है. I can't do this. I, this is too much of pressure. Has it ever happened to a student? Yes, it happens. And, and when that comes, then we start asking them to build this um, weekly uh, calendar, and you start listing. And okay, so another three parts of this. It's not just making a calendar and setting out. You know, कि ये करना. Right. First, you need to plan. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm not saying break it down and do hourly. Just say this is what you need to achieve this week, or say in these days, say I have to do these many chapters, or I have to, you know, uh, give so many hours of community service, or whatever it is, help these many people, raise so much money. Against right. that, you have to put in the actuals. What is it you did? The third right. most important part, which I say, is the result of that. Say I said I want to uh, giving your SAT mocks, okay? And you say I will give three SAT mocks. And you come out of that, and you say, okay, I did four SAT mocks. Doing things and doing the results is okay. Then you start also mapping the results. That at the end of three or four SAT mocks, at this particular time, I should have started receiving a score of thirteen hundred. Okay. Start measuring yourself. Am I achieving what I said I would achieve by doing the activities that I said I would do? And Correct. pivot. Right. Pivot as many times as you can. Uh, okay. There's no problem when realizing, okay, this was not the path. I'm going to change. It's fine. Great. That's what we're here for. Talk right. to people. Talk to your seniors. Talk to mentors. Your parents. Saying, this is what I'm going to do. Parents are are a very big role here. Going to to helping That's you, keeping you. That's my question. You can't answer that. Okay. <laughs> answer that. Because okay. one of my very close friends, she has messaged me that, and she's asking that how should the parent-student relationship be for best success? How important a parent's role is in a student getting to the dream college. Absolutely. Here, I mean, I'm sure it's, it's like you know, you are in the middle between the student, the student and the parent. So how do you, how do you manage? It's actually very different. Uh, you know, it's very different. Actually, uh, what I feel is, uh, what in Calcutta, which is slightly less than in other uh, cities, it it has to be more of a partnership. As a parent, uh, you think about it. You've invested time, money. Mental and emotional uh, and physical uh, uh, time and everything and resources. So you have and the child is also investing a lot, and you're creating this goal of a family of a you know of your as a group a group for yourselves to move forward in life. So it is a partnership that has to be taken forward. Ch- children today and students today are very different from say my time your time was slightly before. Yeah. Uh, the Absolutely. relationship they yeah, they are more, they are more mature. They are more independent. More they are able to take better decisions, and are able to understand a lot more than we could. Think about it. Kids today at four or five are able to use the iPad better than I can. So it's a bit of all of that that comes in play, <laughs> right? Yes, for sure. So it's all. Everyone thing is evolving. So give them that respect. Uh, recognize how right. they have evolved as people. Give them that much of freedom, and take them as partners, and work through things with them, and. Try doing something with them every week, a small project where they see you as a partner, less of a parent. That way, one, your acceptance is more, and the ability to talk to you better, sooner, and bring problems to you is easier. Right. So whether it's maybe they may be facing a problem with the school buddy, to the teacher, with some exam, they'll be more comfortable bringing it out to you, and you, in your mind, will be more comfortable giving them that solution. So that's what I talk so about. So has it ever happened that, that the parent is saying that my child will do science, but the child is saying no, I'm going to do arts. But you know Absolutely. that the child is good in arts. You want to push the child towards arts. So how, where do you come in? How do you, as world viral, how do you convince the parent? Do you have that power to convince the parent that please? See, I. Uh, <laughs> I had the power I to uh, convince the parent. Yes, I mean that is. Uh, it all comes down. That's a twenty-first century skill. That is the power to convince people. But what it, uh, the way I look at when I see everything is, I have to be first convinced that the child is interested in art and will be a successful career for them. And you know, then I have to outline that. Okay, the mother wants the child to do science. What is there, or the father wants to do? Why? What do they see as the future? And then you know you have to be able to match their concerns, their requirements with that of where the child will be good at. 
because see the end of the goal putting a child into somewhere which is not going to be good because see they, why are they putting him into science they are thinking that his life is successful banega he will have all the opportunities in the world coming right. to him all gates will be open he will make more money and have a uh, that's what the mindset is right so but then i have to, you have to clear right. the doubt that does not mean that if you do arts or humanities that's not going to come their way you have to show the and you have to show that because this is the route which your child will take this is the great opportunities that will come by his way and by being happy and motivated and successful in what he's doing all your concerns will be addressed so that's so my what next question to you right right so how important is a parents involvement for students and college application do you involve the you know, parent in it or what should the parent do to guide the child the in the right direction really now when the child comes to so if the child coming to us for mentorship and my always right. suggestion is not the parent but uh, my i always as a person i believe very strongly that the parent and i will love it when the parent is involved it's very important for that uh because at the end of the day look it's the investment is made by the parent i am yes. just the financial advisor or the investment advisor right right and so the, it is very important that the parent is very deeply involved they should do a lot of research they should also see the opportunities by their way you know for example if a child is looking for some sort of an internship or some sort of a guidance in terms of a a, a startup that he's doing or something else like or a research that he wants to do parents have most and so they have such a vast network they can have their class groups you know from when they were in college or when they were in school they'll have so many resources that they will be able to give their child the um, they will be and they would be able to guide the child for a lot more number of things because but they but i just want to stop you here let's suppose my daughter is in class 6 and you are telling me to do your my research So where do I start the research? I don't know anything. I don't know where to research. I know a couple of my friends. I can go and talk to them. But is that yeah. the starting? Where do I start my research from? How okay, do I guide first, my child? I think the first research, uh, when when looking at guiding your child, is definitely talking to some uh, friends whose children have gone through the same phase. That's definitely one of the friends and family are very important. It kind of gives you an idea because of the culture we live in. and the society right. we live in what are available and what and talk to them and and see, start seeking out students who have done well start uh, right. seeking to depend what did they do uh, what is it they do did differently that's one two coaches and counselors they are very right. good people to talk to because they have been meeting students over several several batches after batches and batches they are great okay. because they will be able to talk about their example of so what that child did then and they'll be more than happy to uh, talk about you know this student did this this student did that and then you'll be able to be able to match okay these are certain opportunities that are available and then obviously right. google google is a best friend for being able to search for any opportunities that are available anyone can drop me a dm any time as for me to pen so yeah. many times and they said is this kind of an opportunity that i'm more than happy to provide the same connect right. them to the right resources and say this is what you should join So, uh, what age do you think a child should join for internship? I mean, which class the child should join for internship? Honestly, uh, in internship, uh, a child should be really looking at in grades say eleven and twelve. Reason 11 being is reason. Be See, I would say not it before maybe nine and ten. You could consider it, but think about an internship has to be a dual relationship. Right. Um, before that right. you can do an apprentice uh, you can do like a work experience or like a work shadow because an right. internship requires you to start delivering results before that you can start shadowing people at work you can go and be an observer you can be like an apprentice right. learn learn what is going on be a part of the office environment ask questions you are yet to learn many things but you have a curious mind use that but we, absorb information but you get a certificate there abhishek will you get a certificate that you can show in the college application or will you get a letter from there so when i'll do two things um any any internship you do and any uh, job experience or work experience um everyone is more than happy to give a letter or an internship letter or something like that that no duty but the second aspect is when you are applying to colleges it is an indian thing 
which is talking about a certificate right colleges in us uk and all believe in the honor code that wall and you have to sign the declaration at the end that whatever you have submitted is true and honest to your best ability which okay. means that they are not doubting that you haven't done this hmm. and it will reflect in your essay or your interview and whatever else that you are also going to submit it is completely going to reflect in that if you are right. lying or not the base of right. checking that any certificate whether if you haven't done the work i can produce you six fake certificates i could make one on excel i'm sorry on powerpoint or something like that or on canva right. so certificates are available right. who can provide this proof that what's right. going to happen is that certificate uh, is when you start writing about the experience when you start talking about the experience then that's when you start catching it okay so i have a very interesting question that you need to answer mm -hmm. so if this pandemic is not going anywhere with the current mm -hmm. situation what will you advise the kids what to do so i think the pandemic is a all the plan going abroad and study in in india and look for colleges over here what do you do so, um i always say that if you are in grade 11 and uh, 12 right now think about it you will right. be going to college next in 2021 or 2022 right. it's it's a very different scenario than what it's going to be right now and so so that is the first aspect so don't and don't ever shut doors for yourself hmm. going abroad or going india has to be a personal decision that has to be based on who you are as a person and what you want to achieve in life hmm. today cases you uk is opening up better with fewer cases than india singapore has no has limited to, to zero to no cases the us in most college towns have very few cases and colleges are spending millions and millions of dollars bates college we had a session with them last week they're spending 5 million dollars this semester alone on testing and providing uh, care to students who are going to come in so these colleges are they are the leaders of the world in terms in in, in their in terms of the intellect so they know how to take care of these situations i understand the parents are concerned i understand that uh, it is scary going abroad but they are countries with the best health care they are countries with the best minds and the best intellect running the best educational systems which are going to then so take the decision as who you are as a person whether you should be here or whether you should go abroad prepare yourself well at the end if there's an geopolitical issues regarding borders that's something which cannot be helped but that does not mean shut doors to yourself First. so has the colleges uh, reduced their fees during this pandemic no the colleges no. have not reduced their fees <laughs> this will have to pay the professor for the students so scholarship for the students have actually increased in majority of the colleges because yes. uh, colleges have uh, in fact many colleges did the same in during the financial crisis of 2008 they understand right. their goal is to provide the best education to the best students with the best potential so they are actually giving out more than they were doing the alumni have all come together and banded together and providing that aid uh each college again is a separate story so each i will not be able to talk about each individual college because it is different uh that have to take separate that i will take on separately but they recognize the fact that students are going through hardship right now and they will need as much support as they can and they don't Absolutely. want to let potential greatness go to waste i should so that more where... question you do you guide the students for sponsorship scholarship and finance See, because end Absolutely. of the day, if you're if the child is going abroad, a lot of money is involved. So, do you guide the students like, okay, fine. So, this is the sponsorship options. These are the scholarship options. This is where you can get the finance. Do you help the child and the parent? Absolutely. Where to go and so, how to go about it? Absolutely. So, there are two aspects about finance. Uh, look, even in India today, top schools like Ashoka require you to spend forty lakhs over the next four years. so college 40. education now has become the minimum 40. okay so and us education over four years comes down to anywhere around 1.5 to 1.7 crores when you paying full so right. yes it is a big expense and it is a one time it's a lifetime expense for your lifetime success right now i understand that uh, so scholarships and aid comes in two ways you have hmm. those which are given by the universities themselves be either merit based or need based each college is different and unique and we discuss with each student 
what is available what is not possible we look at the situation and then we give them the options as per the need so i'm not going to recommend a college which is expensive and does not give aid there's no point right you're wasting yeah. your time they're not going to give you the aid because of their policy and there are opportunities right. outside as well there are private donors there are banks and there are and there are ways of going and you know investing and saving money which can help you we have we are uh, we work with a lot of people uh, who we discuss a lot of times that what is it that we can do to help parents you know make the right investments because foreign currency transfers uh, all of these require a lot of different uh, different thought process liquidity is a big issue because fees have to be paid in one shot so we do uh, definitely think about those things as well and we give the right resources get the right applications in for the aid and honestly um, for need based aid it's very, it's not that difficult for scholarships yes competition is there but uh, students uh, well deserving students always get it um, okay. you know what what one should get one always gets So, what is the main aspect when planning for college? What is the main aspect that when you plan for college, you have so many options and you're spoiled for choice? How do you help a student to pick up the perfect college? The best thing, but I always say, is values. And you need to understand two things: your own values and the values of where you're going. And that is what a lot of people don't talk about. They go down for the brand. They run after मेरा नेम शर्मा जी का बेटा गया था यू नो इफ यू गेट द कनेक्शन या एक्चुअली आई वांट टू आस्क यू दैट यू नो माय फ्रेंड इज गोइंग दैट्स व्हाई आई एम गोइंग टू गो माय कजिन हैज गॉन दैट्स व्हाई आई एम गोइंग टू गो देन हाउ डू यू नीड टू नो वैल्यूज यू नीड टू नो हु यू आर एज अ पर्सन हु यू आर व्हाट आर द वैल्यूज दैट आर इनहेरेंट विद इन यू दैट मेक यू टिक दैट मेक यू सक्सीड दैट मेक यू यू नो रन दैट एक्स्ट्रा माइल एंड दैट्स व्हेन यू वांट टू मैच द योर वैल्यूज uh not only so so you're not only matching your values to the career stream and the job stream and everything else that you're going for you also need to match it to the values and the culture of the place that you're applying to Correct. so for example the value system at a school like uc berkeley versus notre dame versus harvard princeton brown is all different but then what actually how do you do that there? how do you find values how do you do that how do you do the research if if a parent comes if a child comes and asks me mom i'm so confused i don't know what are the values what i'm going to do you have to help so me out I and i'm a confused parent but i so don't know you ask abhishek only i so can't help you so okay how do you help that child uh, okay i know so i want to say i know my values and so i know i can help you find your values okay that's where okay. i am there to find the values of the university research and research is not only just reading online you need to start talking to people and you need to talk to admissions officers you need to talk to students there you need to talk to alumni from there to get a flavor and now here's a the here's the tricky part to find out what the values are you need to be able to ask the right questions right that's when i come in that's when i help say okay if you need to like for example all the university sessions we did a lot of that we moderated and i specifically moderated them and i specifically asked those questions which i know students need to be asking that's what because if you Absolutely. don't understand the values and the culture and you have to because now here's an example and this i learned uh, 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 when i went to the, the, U, the us right so i uh, i was looking at to get a consulting job now it's not just in college it's going to happen every stage of your life in future and there were there were a plethora of uh, consulting companies that were coming in and there was say a mckinsey a, a bain and company a bcg deloitte ernst and young and there were like several boutique firms as well now i was interviewing with a lot of them but it for i spent the whole summer before that talking to every consulting company talking to the consultants talking to the recruitment uh, officers in the hr about the company got, got a flavor of what it's all about how do what's the camaraderie between the people how do the people interact what sort of relationship exists how easy is it to succeed how what are the expectations that come in what is how do people even talk i mean and i found clear differences in each right. of the organizations and i found where am i going to resonate and here's the thing i apply to every one of them because why close your chances and guess what i they know this very well i i realized at the end of it that i got offers from only those companies where i said i would be the best fit here but i told myself i will be the best fit here this is my dream 
the rest is great so bain and company was my number one priority because of its culture so do you give and the question for that ask do you give the question at the chief question at that you need to ask for this is not a question it's it's it's, a, it's a, it, there is a question at there is a sheet yes but it's a very deep process where i have to start pulling things out from you because fill i can ask you to fill a questionnaire but do i need to talk fill, abhishek abhishek do, do people talk do people give, give out so much like how, how whatever you just yes, say yes it, it, it's do, not easy you have to you have to build a relationship with them you have to be comfortable with them you have to be the friend you have to be the confidant you have to know that what are you telling me i will not take it somewhere else i have to build the trust factor with them and i have to ask the right questions people are very happy to talk to me because they know that i am the mentor i'm here to help them i'm here with no vested interest right. i'm not here to snitch on them to their right. parents they know that but i also need to be able to ask the right questions i need to be able to prod at the right places and stop where i feel it's getting too much and that's when they are able to talk and so i ask them to fill a question i yes i ask them to fill i ask them to think what are your values give them some options but that's not where the gain the buck stops i then go through the whole thing ask them behind it feel their emotions behind the story and then realize okay these are the actual values coming out this is where this person is saying when the how the um, process evolves itself abhishek are you there yeah 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 uh, okay. yeah i can hear you, you know yeah. I, so that's why i wanted to know you know ki if someone a student has come and filled up this questionnaire and that child is not a pushy child then you know how do you help that child that okay so you need to be you need to take out information because it is and tough exactly, this is uh, really tough it is very tough there are a lot of people who are not very comfortable sharing uh exactly look at a person but but then you see there are a lot of personalities and you have to and it is a skill set which takes time to evolve and time to uh, grow on how to work with different kinds of people so can you help actually, the student so can you help the student to develop the skill set because i feel that this skill set is very absolutely set, you have important. to help them absolutely you have to help them out you have to work with them for example you have to push them and each student can only push a certain amount right you have to recognize that that i can't right. push someone who is going to uh, to, to take 10 steps when you know he mentally they can only really take one there right. someone can exactly. take 10 steps at the same time in one shot so i have to, right. i recognize that and then you push them slowly why don't you take a small activity why don't you write 15 uh, like 50 words today and there's right. someone else say why give me a 500 word essay tomorrow and i'll get this and you have to see what's going to differ you have to work with them and it, again this also is a trial and error thing i am not saying i'm perfect and i'll get a grab on the right go because look i have not grown up with you i have not seen you for the last 16 years but right. i have to be dynamic enough to see when there's an error quickly pivot and get the right answer correct absolutely absolutely yeah. so what is the main aspect when planning for college main aspect when planning for college as i said uh, the main aspect is definitely the, your values and when you're looking at values the second aspect that you really starting to start thinking about is who are you and what is the x factor that is the absolute bottom line that what, what is, is it that's going to make you stand out what yeah, is it the is the x factor what is the, the x factor is what is making you going to stand out what is it that's going to make you stand out from the crowd why should i select you activity wise skills uh, skill set wise value yes. wise how exactly so now it can be anywhere it can be in community service an internship some club activities some values that you were able to display some experience that you have been able to have so okay. for example or because or some academics or it can be in academics now in, when i say about academics you can say look everyone is taking the same courses but is academics limited to the school no people have taken courses outside people have taken uh, done lot of research work outside with college professors with uh, other academicians um, with pro, uh, and researchers right. academics is not limited um, to when you look at social work uh, how deep are you going how many people are you helping and what are the skills that are making you stand out coming out from that i am not saying to 30 activities today but w- what is it that one thing that if i say yeah 
wow that that's a guy i want as part of my school he is the person who is going to excel in my college and take our, my brand name because see what's going to happen today i have gone around everywhere and i say i am an alumnus of the university of michigan ann arbor okay and if i have to be someone who is a should be able to represent that that badge hmm. that do i have do i hold the values and the ability to wear that badge and that is what the university is looking for are you Sorry. someone who is deserves to wear that badge absolutely and that's what you need to showcase to them okay so you you think that yes extracurricular activities are very very important and they are the vital part for college admissions so I, it's not just about extracurricular activities it is about what you get from that you, you have to see okay. you you have to show yourself as a person who will succeed there right so me Correct. again 10 15 activities doesn't matter it is right. what difference was i able to make and what difference right. did it make to me absolutely that's what the x factor okay right so so yeah go on so as i'm saying so you know when you're looking as uh, when you're saying i did this project i did this startup i did anything it doesn't matter uh, so much that you know 30 other people who did it but you really need to right. show your case yourself your personality and how much of an impact it made to you and it has to be Absolutely. genuine please be very genuine about this there's no point lying and trying to make, fake your way through it all and right. it has to and, and today because see, you're in school you're six subjects everyone today has six subjects you get say 95% but then there's so many other students who are getting 95% 94% and anything between 92 and say 96 is very they so close to each other that how do you mm. make the difference right how do you make a difference it's not like someone's you're competing with someone's getting 72 someone's getting 48 and you're getting 92 now that's again right. then you'd be standing out right so when Correct. that's not happening how do you stand out right so is there any new government curriculum or any new government policies that has been introduced that effects the national the, the nep 2020 But yes, absolutely. So now there there are two elements. One, the private sector took notice of this about five ten years ago. Okay. Uh, you can you can if you look at schools like Ashoka and Kriya, they were set up by the the great industrialists of our age, like Anand Mahendra, Anu Aga, and all of these and these and these famous families. And they provide this kind of an education which is more holistic and different. And the government has taken note. uh the indian education system up till now required you to take a specific one exam get there and you know just go through the same the british system of learning but even the british okay. system has evolved you know they have become more holistic what is addressing that issue now i next 10 to 15 years it's not going to come overnight but that can't be expected mm-hmm. but what is happening is they are going Great. to make things more holistic they are going to focus on a child as a whole they are going to bring about uh, looking at different elements of a child and it is going to impact Correct. the metros down very quickly it's already impacting you can see the top schools in the city they are have heavy focus on it when you look at modern high look at the heritage you look at mahadevi birla world academy i've see, spent time with these schools and i've really enjoyed talking to their students um La Martinia is my alma mater. Look, I'm not. I, I couldn't say that. So, I'm still going to say. Modern. Tell me about modern. Tell me about modern. I honestly, I have never been more impressed. Uh, I, I don't know what I should take. Uh, talk about schools and fields, but the the students, I think, in terms of the caliber and their uh, ability and their worldview and their ability to deliver results, it's 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 quite remarkable. And I'm. And I said other schools like Mahadevi Birla and Heritage and La Martinia and all of those schools. I'm not taking favorites, but definitely uh, uh, it is one of the schools that uh, I was genuinely very, very impressed. When I, oh, when I put, I've I've seen Abhishek. So when a child comes to you and the child is confused that okay, should should I study abroad or should I study in India? Mm-hmm. What do you do? How do you guide that child in the right direction? That my child, child I mean, might not survive in you know in a absolutely. college, but that child will thrive in it, India or vice versa. Uh, 
So how do you have Absolutely. that chat? How do you recognize that factor? So the first thing that comes across from the child, I start, you know, the, when we work with the child, there are a lot of times, the initial few meetings and sessions is all spent on getting to know the child better. Uh, who they are as people, what scares them, what, where do they feel comfortable, where do they not feel comfortable, how easy is it for them to succeed, what does it take for them to succeed, how important are different factors such as home, family life, the Indian connection, living alone, independence, how easy is it, how much have they, and while well, they may say it, then the next step is I ask them, where have they displayed it? If I see a child has done, say, in me camps, then you know the right. child has gone 14 days, lived on his own in the rugged wild. They have that ability Absolutely. in them. So that's an example of something where I say, yeah, this child can go out on his own. Look, at the end of the day, if he goes out three months later, he's not able to take it. Now, I can't take that as someone, you can't predict everything. But 99% right. of the chance you avoid all of those issues by spending time working with the child. But Abhishek, and, will you guide a child, a parent... Who's, you know, whose child is in class 5 or like me, 4, 5, 6 will you guide that child to go for send the, uh, guide that parent to send the child to in me camps or different camps or go for independent camps or go for sessions or uh, you know, debate sessions uh, on their own, would you guide would you have a list you know, you can just help parents ki, okay, you know, you can send the child to, so that when the child comes in class 12 the child is fiercely independent and can and be super street smart. You know, that is very Absolutely. Important. So can you and help you know, five, six, that way? Too? Absolutely. And you know, five, six, seven is a great time for uh, you to do a lot of trial and error also. Correct. The child's Absolutely. mind is still young. It's still molding itself. It's still developing. Right. So you can, there's a lot of space to do trial and error sessions that tend to be shorter. Maybe one month, two months, something like that. It's a lot of fun. So getting yeah. them to try different things, so they get very excited about it. And so yes, I would be able to provide them a lot of resources, a lot of different ways that you can uh, look at the situation and what you can try. Um, and when you can work individually with the child itself, themselves also, um, and get them the right resources. Things are so much available online these days. You don't have to physically go. In the pandemic, you can't go. <laughs> That's a different story. Yeah, in the, and... Um, it's a lot of fun. And then, that, and you know, it kind of starts establishing what the child really is interested in, starts seeing the passion coming out of the child, and then you can really push them to excel and start developing right. the foundation. It's, to, so it, it's do really great to do that. that. I want you to do, if you don't mind, can you do a blog post on that? The, class, the children who are in class five, six, seven. I mean, what difference the parents can push them to during this pandemic? If you can do a blog I post, will definitely do that. Share it. Yes, what you can do, definitely. I will definitely put that out. Um, definitely. I'd love to do that. So you said classes because 5, 6, is, and 7, right? Yes, absolutely. Definitely. Because, you know, it's a big help like me. Because, you know, suddenly if you say college, it's like so much of pressure, I can't even tell you. <laughs> it's too much of pressure. So... No, it's too far. But now is the time to start thinking about... But think, don't think about it as college. Think about a, a successful child. Think about them Absolutely. being successful individuals. Think about them when they're 18, 20, 25, 30. That's, you're grooming them for that. And, 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 and as parents, okay, I'm not a parent, but that's the job, right? Absolutely. Correct. That's why you have kids to evolve us as people, as to take us to the next level, as to grow as individuals. And mm. it, it would be injustice to bring someone, into, bring someone here and then not give them the right resources to succeed and to leave them by the wayside. Um, we have evolved as, as people to know that there's so much we can do to take our society forward, right? And you could have the next Einstein, you could have the next Newton, and you could have the next uh, Narendra Modi, big fan, but you know, you, you could have the, uh, so you have to see that. Right. Abhishek, I have one more small question ask you. Okay. <laughs> I know mm -hmm. asking a lot of questions. I can't help it. Everybody sent me so many I'm questions. I'm more than happy to answer. <laughs> I want to ask you about uh, sponsorship. Sponsorship for uh, colleges? For the college. Yeah, for the students when they go. I want to ask you for sponsorship. Do you have would you like, do you link the student for the sponsorship or are there any programs where the students can apply? 
So, so as I said before, all scholarships and sponsorships for program for universities tend to be specific to that university because they have their own funds, and that's the unique. That's a great thing, right? Uh, universities have their own funds. So that's when you're looking at the U.S. Uh, a country like Singapore is great, wherein uh, the government gives a lot of it. Yes. So the resources are all available. Think uh, the resources are all available today. Think about think about all the government subsidies that you want. It's just the question is being able to find it in the right places, uh, being able to see the right locations, and and then then it's a simple matter of putting in the application before the deadline. And <laughs> once you do that, is um, there are a lot of very great companies who give up so much money, so much money on the table. that for most any student who is thinking that i don't want to go abroad because i don't have the money that's not there the yeah. the society today is geared to get everyone the best education if you have the potential so i so would never suggest that i would always suggest do you guide the child do you guide the child in there in that absolutely. section if you one have one. the potential if you in that aspect yeah yeah Yes, if you have the potential, you know when we work with the child and we see the potential and the interest of the child, you know, and you see that the child will thrive and succeed there, then there's so many opportunities that there are that the child can uh, take that will get them that uh, resources that will get them to achieve what they want to achieve in as from the right educational institution, whether it's Singapore, US, UK, and look and and don't think of it as countries. Think about the value addition that the institute brings. So, for example, think about if you think of Singapore, but National University of Singapore is the 11th ranked university in the world. So, are you? Do you say NUS is not better than, say, uh, maybe University of Michigan, where which is probably the 16th ranked university in the world? And if right. but NUS gives so much more aid than Michigan does. So, don't think that US is the end all be all. you have to find the world is becoming smaller by the day opportunities and availability for indians is growing by the day and that's when you want to start capturing right so as picasso said action is a fundamental key to success so this means that if you need to start your college prep you should have a very different mindset and that of a winner you should have your goals your action in place and not only talks you have to be hard working dedicated you have to do your research you have to prepare practice you have you should have good habits and perseverance i have gained so much knowledge and information abhishek today i can't even tell you i mean i am on a different year because i changed my mindset before speaking to you that okay so i have to have an open mind that was what's happening right now in the college to say how the admissions and all these preparations are going on so i'm sure a lot of parents doubts have been today if you still have any queries please go and be in touch with abhishek from what abhishek support they will be more than happy to clear all your doubts thank abhishek, you so much radhika i i am actually very you know it's such a nice information you know that you shared with all of us very you know it's very, i'm very happy with the conversation <laughs> thank you so much radhika and i really appreciate it and i really loved it being here i think the questions were very important very pertinent i am hoping it helped uh, the people who attended the session or who may be seeing the session afterwards as well uh, there is a lot to learn and there's a lot of difference that's going to come up uh, as we are evolving changing as people and I'm, and you know i love your page it's doing some great work and I'm hoping for any kind of collaboration we can do in the future, especially when the pandemic opens up. I agree. Great, thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Abhishek. Thank you so much. Please say thank you to Devanshi uh, also. Definitely, she is the soul of World Viral. Yeah. Thank you, Abhishek.